Let's work on counting back change, just focusing on the coin part. When you count back the coins, your ultimate goal is to get to the dollar. So what's the easiest way to get to a dollar? Well, that's with your quarters. You got 25, 50, 75, one dollar. So our minor goal here is just to get to a 25 cent, 50, 75, or a dollar mark. All right, we're gonna count up. You don't, tr don't subtract. That's where a lot of you are messing up. You're still trying to subtract and count up at the same time. You don't have to subtract. So let's just say this person owes you 87 cents and he gives you a dollar. Well, our first goal is gonna be to get to the nearest 10 or five mark. Since we're starting at 87, the easiest way to get up to the nearest 10 or five mark is gonna be with pennies. So say 87 and then count 88, 89, 90. Now that got us to 90 cents. What coin will get you to the dollar? The dime. So this would make a dollar. Right there is your change. You did not have to say a dollar minus 87. You just counted up 87, 88, 89, 90, one dollar. Let's look at another one. This person owes you 72 cents and pays you a dollar. So we're gonna put their change in the middle. I wanna go from 72 to one dollar. Just counting up, I'm not subtracting at all. So start with 72, 73, 74, 75. That was my first goal. Now what gets you from 75 cents to a dollar the quickest? A quarter. So here's 72, 73, 74, 75, plus a quarter makes a dollar. Now let's try 63 cents. This person owes you 63 cents and gives you a dollar. So let's get up to the nearest five or 10 first. 63, 64, 65, okay? Now, you can go with nickels because you're at a five, but if you can think, what's the next quarter level we wanna get to? We wanna get to a 75. Since I'm at 65, a dime gets me to 75, plus a quarter gets me to one. So I would say 63, 64, 65, 75, one dollar. Now let's look at 52 cents. This person owes you 52 cents and gives you a dollar. So let's use pennies to get up to the nearest five or 10 mark, 52. 53, 54, here's 55, here's 60, here's 70. Now this time I'm gonna have to go back and get another nickel, that makes 75, and that would get me to a dollar. Now here's another way you could have done this same amount. If I started at 52, I'm still gonna do 53, 54, 55. Now if I'm thinking, I know that once I hit a five, I might can work my way to 75. So from 55, I can do 65, 75, and then a quarter. Now this time I used one of the dimes instead of two of the nickels. Does it matter? Not really. You know, whoever you're giving change back might say, I'd rather have a dime instead of two nickels, but it's not a big deal. Okay, let's look at one more. 38 cents. Your customer owes you 38 cents and they give you a dollar. So let's start counting up 38, 39, 40. Now what'll get you to the next quarter mark? From 40 cents, if you go with a dime, that gets you to 50, 75, one dollar. Okay, so just practice on the change and then we'll work on the dollars next.